let's now talk about iot ecosystem and some important concepts of iot the iot ecosystem is a connection of various kinds of devices that sends and analyze the data and communicates with each other over the network so in iot ecosystem we are actually combining different different applications of internet of things like you can see in case of some mall that you are visiting over there in one shop you will see some applications of iot are getting executed at the same time when you are out of the shop and uh, let's say you wants to have some breakfast or lunch and for that purpose you are visiting into the same mall into some another hotel there also you will see that the billing of that particular uh, hotel as well as the billing of that particular previous shop was done uh, was done through the uh, similar type of interface so what we are doing or what they are doing over there they are combining the multiple iot applications together so the only purpose is the ease of use for the human being in the iot ecosystem the user uses the smart devices such as smartphones tablets sensors to send at the command or request to the devices for information over the network so the typical iot ecosystem we will take a look at where you will observe that there are users groups communities there is a application software technology and there is a sensors embedded processing and connectivity is happening and over here you will see that in this particular uh, circle there are various iot applications that are getting implemented together into the iot ecosystem so iot ecosystem is about the combination of multiple iot projects so for example you can see over here smart home smart energy smart farming smart city so when you take a look at a glance you will be in a situation to understand that this is what is known as the iot ecosystem so the iot is itself an ecosystem of network devices that transfer the data it is also well connected with a big data and cloud computing so there are some features of uh, iot ecosystem they are sensing embedded processing connectivity as you have seen in the previous diagram that there are temperature sensors gyroscope can be used pressure sensors right and when we talk about uh, connectivity so gps wifi rfid can be used over there smart devices and environment cloud computing and big data so this is a uh, another entity of the iot ecosystem wherein we can observe that the data transfer or receive through a smart devices and environment are communicated through the cloud computing and other servers and uh, stored as a big data technology software application is needed to communicate and to connect with the smart devices and the environment uh users or group of communities that we have seen right and they are required to operate that particular iot ecosystem which are actually the final beneficiaries of iot architecture also now this is one of the important concept that is iot decision framework and that we need to really understand that whenever we are developing the iot application at that time the iot decision framework plays an important role so the iot decision framework provides the structured approach to create a powerful iot product strategy so whenever you are developing the iot product right so the this decision framework helps a lot so what is this the iot decision framework is much important as the product or services communicates over the network goes through five different layers of complexity of technology so they are device hardware device software communication cloud platform and cloud application 
so this is what is the iot technology stack through which we are going while we are developing the product so while we are developing the product we need to go through the decision area and that decision area goes through that iot technology stack so how that we will see so the iot decision framework pays attention to six decision areas in any iot product the decision areas are ui data business technology security standards and regulations so how they are related uh, with the iot technology stack that we will see so see you can observe over here iot technology stack it is talking about hardware software communication parameter cloud and cloud application so first of all when we are talking about the user experience so user experience needs to be checked at the device hardware level software level communication level cloud level and cloud application level if it is well and good then we can say that the user is getting good experience at all the stages of iot technology stack then the data flow is happening properly at all the different levels of the iot technology stack then only the employees will be motivated to develop the iot product in an multinational iot development company so each of these decision areas is evaluated at each stage of iot technology stack the user experience will be evaluated at all these levels as i have already told you so the decision areas of the iot technology framework so what are those decision areas that we have just now discussed and uh, what do they mean user experience decision area so we concentrate about who are the users what are their requirements and how to provide a great experience at each step second data decision area so what we do over there in this data decision area we make the overall data strategy such as data flow over the network in the entire iot stack to fulfill the user requirements business decision area we make the decision how product and services will become financially potential at that time technology decision area we work through the technology security decision area to decide and provide the security at each stage of iot technology stack stack and unless and otherwise the iot product will not come out as a efficient product in the market standards and regular regulations decision area so we identify the standards and regulations of the product and services that will affect your product at each layer of the iot stack so thank you